they're on. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn these Warlord bases into my new all improved basing technique. So that each of your little bases can be a diorama in itself. So from these to these, let's get started. So first thing I do is these edges are slightly beveled. So I just scrape off that very bottom line, all of them, like that, just to get rid of that slight bevel so they don't warp quite so easily. The next thing I do um, is I'll run a line of poly cement. I'm not trying to teach anyone to suck eggs, but <laughs> I've just shown this to people that might not know. Uh, so I'm going to run a line of poly cement along all these edges. I'll do that on all four because what the poly cement does is it will melt that plastic and it will weld the two pieces together. So it also helps getting rid of that, you know, that warping problem that you're going to have if you don't do it. I'm going to do this off camera, it's a bit easier. Okay, so glue's on, on all of them now. That's why them paint pots were there, just to hold them up. And then I'm just going to push these together. And then I'm going to put them on a flat surface. So let me just do that quick. So I'm just pop them. This is a, a glass tabletop. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to squeeze them together and just rub them up like that. So that will get that melted plastic to glue better. So just find them up by eye. I mean, if you want to be more pedantic, you can use a straight edge, but I find lining them up by eye is good enough for me. Just wipe the glue off the top, like that, and then to help stop it warping, voila! True blue Peter spirit is some I prepared earlier. So what I'm gonna do now, you don't have to do this, but I've had problems in the past with, it's the, basic material separating so I tend to score these bases now with a Stanley knife uh, and it just gives a, a key for the glue and the basing material to hold on to a bit tighter on the base so just cross hatch don't have to go mental just a little bit of a cross hatch so again not trying to teach anyone to suck eggs or anything but we're now going to glue these to the bases, so I'll show you how I place them at least. And these are the South Carolina Volunteers Wild Regiment. So, just the front rank will just go in the holes as normal. And then the rear rank, you can tell the rear rank because I haven't done the highlights on the yellow. Uh, we need to chop off the little lugs. You don't need them anymore. Gone. Run some poly cement along there. A little line. Oops, not on camera. Doesn't matter. You can get the general idea. And then we're going to place that right in the centre of them two holes. Roughly about there, maybe slightly further back so I can get in. With the basing tools oh. and then line them up with the fronts uh, yeah so next thing I'm gonna do before I put the filler on is I'm just gonna put PVA all over these bases uh, and that's so when I put the filler on it won't fall out where the holes are hopefully well it hasn't yet uh, and it gives, again, it gives an extra key for the filler to make it more secure. So we're going to put this on and then we're going to let it dry for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. And then I'll start putting the filler on. Okay, so I've waited about a half hour. I should probably give them a little bit longer, but I'm bored of waiting. So that was a ready mix filler that I'm using. Uh, and into that, I'm just going to add a little bit of brown paint so I get a nice beige colour. That's enough of that. I'm going to run out. 
Uh, and then it's a little bit thick, so I'm going to add the tiniest, tiniest dribble of water. I'll do. And then we're just going to mix that together. So we've got it all mixed up. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit on my trusty spoon. Maybe a bit more on that. And we're just going to lose that base edge because it's one of my pet hates. There's no need to see that base edge. And for the sake of an extra 20, 30 minutes, just doing this to get rid of it, it's well worth it. Because it just looks so unnatural if you leave it. So I used to fill all these holes in as well on the bases, but there's absolutely no need. Because with the PVA glue and then with the basing material going on top, it will hide all that. Uh, and to get down the middle, I'm going to use that. So that's what you're doing. We're just going to cover all of that. And just for my friend James, James C. Paints. Drummer. Drummer this time. So let me crack on with this. Okay, so they're all got the filler on now. Uh, and now you just got to wait for that filler to dry. Uh, it'll be ready in a few hours, but I tend to leave, just leave it overnight and I'll crack on with something else while I'm waiting for that to dry. Then we'll get on to the fun bit. Okay, so now the fun bit. So what I've done is I've, I've set out all the little bits of pieces I'm gonna use. So this is some foam flock. Uh, and it actually comes in big lumps like this and I just break off little bits I need. I've got some darker green one. And this actually comes all loose, like this. Uh, and what I find after I do with this is get a little bit of it and screw it up into a ball. I'll show you actually when I put it on. So I do these slightly differently, these American Civil War, to the, how I do the Python shot and the, how I'm gonna be doing my Napoleonics. So I'll get into that at the end but for now i'm just going to show you how i go about doing these so first things first i'm going to put some pva glue all over the bases and i'm going to use some of the geek gaming scenics mediterranean earth mix so i don't want to go on too long so you get the general idea i'm just going to pop pva all over this base now if you don't want it to get it on their feet Get yourself a little cocktail stick and you can just push it in between but i'm not too worried about covering the feet up so let me cover this in glue so they're very covered um i do water this pva or this white glue down very slightly because um, <clears throat> otherwise it's a little bit too thick so what i'm going to do now is I'll shake this earth mix up to get some of the stones to the top. So if you want some rocky areas, just do that and then just put them on first and then just with your finger, just squish them down into that glue. So you get a good hold on there. Put a few more because I think some of them are gonna fall off. So something like that, put them on. Uh, and then it's just a case of just covering the whole thing then. Just sprinkling it all over and then I will allow this, or leave this in there to dry while I prep the next one. So not, not too long, just a little bit so it can hold on to it. So let me start doing the next one. So that's them um, with the Geek Gaming Cynics Ready Base Mix on. Uh, and the idea of that Ready Base Mix is that, you know, once you put that on, that should be it. But I want a bit more greenery on mine. So I'm gonna just pile on a load of PVA and little lines, avoiding the rocks wherever possible. Uh, I'm not gonna put it on everywhere, but just a few different places. So you can see I've put it on here and there. Uh, and then I'm gonna get some two mil static grass and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on all over. 
and then just tap it down in places. Not too worried about it in the middle because it's not really going to be seen there. And then just turn it upside down, tap it off, and that gives you a much greener base. Lump there. So that just gives you a much greener area to work with. Uh, I just think it just gives you a nice under coverage using that Geek Gaming Cynics. Right, so next thing. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I've got some tufts. So I've got this flower tuft. Just drop that into the PVA. Decide roughly where you want to put it. Push it down. Uh, and then I'll put maybe a little bit of green on there as well. Look at this stuff. Do all this while it's all still wet. So all the glue and everything soaks into everything and gives you a much stronger hold. Um, all right, so with this loose green stuff, I roll it into a little ball and then just dunk it into PVA. Put that on the base. Damn it, it's on camera. Uh, and then I just push that into the PVA so it soaks right up into it. Uh, the tufts I'm using here are four mil. I've got a couple of different colours. I think you could probably use six mil as well, but I don't have any. I've only got four mil at the minute. Uh, and I'm just going to put a couple on here in random places. I would use more colours if I had them, but so I've only got these two colours right now. So like that, and then I'm going to go around the centre, put a little bit in the centre and a little bit on the back, and I'll show you when they're all done. So I thought I'd very quick show you, now that I've put everything on, I'm going to leave it something like that. Uh, and I'm just going to let this dry. Uh, and then I will paint these edges. Now I'm going to use flat earth to paint these. I know a lot of people will insist on using just one colour, uh, like black or whatever. I like to use a colour a color that complements the actual base itself. So I'm going to say flat earth. Uh, and then I'll use different colours for different bases, depending on what I've put on top. But I'll show you a bit more about that when I get onto the pike and shot stuff. So for now, I'm going to wait for all this to dry and then paint the edges, finish them two off, and I'll show you the completed unit. So these are these bases completely finished. Um, and there you go, that's what it looked like. So I, I decided, if anyone's wondering why I've gone oversized all these bases, it's just I liked having this little diorama effect on each base. So it kind of puts each little base into its own immersed little world, if you like. Um, and Callistra actually do casualties. So I'll probably start putting one or two casualties on the front here and then. They've got some standing up in shot kind of guys as well. So I'll mix them in with the units. As I go, when I put an order in with Calistra, whenever that may be. Uh, so that's how I do the ACW. Now, with my Napoleonics, which I've got to rebase now, um, and the Pike and Shot, I do slightly different. Uh, so with these, I put the filler on, then as for the basing, I put a few rocks here and there, uh, but I don't cover it fully with the Geek Gaming Scenic stuff. I, I painted it flatter. Uh, and then dry brushed orange brown and then the base edges I did with flat brown so a little bit darker obviously it just gives a slightly different effect to the base um, and I'll probably do this style with the Napoleonics as well I quite like I quite like having it having them slightly different so it's been around the stains but yeah there we go what a bonus um, right, so that's it. That's how I do all my basing. I was going to do a separate video for the pike and shot on that, but it's exactly the same method, as I say. The only difference is I don't put a full base down on the Geek Gaming Scenic, so I just pick out a few rocks, put them down. But these bases, I want them to look a little bit lighter, these North American ones. So that's why I've done that this way. Um, anyway, I hope you've been able to get some tips out of this video. 
I hope it's been useful to some people. Uh, I've had a few people ask me how I do it, so uh, I thought I'd best pull my finger out and show you. Uh, and that's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.